Hi, my name is Caitlin Sattler. I am a postdoctoral fellow here at the Koch Institute at MIT in the labs of Daniel Anderson and Robert Langer. I study how your body's immune system affects wound healing and tissue regeneration and how we can create engineered materials to promote better wound healing and prevent things like scarring. Anytime you put something in the body, you're going to have an immune response to that material that ranges from uh, glucose monitors for diabetes to pacemakers. Anytime you stick something in the body, your immune system is going to respond to it. So what we're trying to do is prevent that angry response to a material and promote a response that creates this pro-regenerative immune microenvironment which is just like an environment around you. So if it's windy outside, you're going to wear a coat. If we have the proper environment in the tissue, then we have tissue regeneration instead of scarring. In order to tell if your tissue is regenerated properly instead of leaving something like a scar, scientists have many different methods to tell if you've got regenerated tissue, one of which is histology. Histology is a process by which we take a piece of tissue and we're able to cut thin slices of it to look and see what's happening inside. Now the tissue itself won't look like much unless we stain it. And there are multiple different types of stains that we can use. One of these different stains is called Movat's pentachrome. Penta, meaning five, means that we can stain five different structures within your tissue and look at all five of these colors to determine whether or not we have tissue regeneration. As a scar is just collagen, we would only see one color, just yellow. However, if our engineered materials are working, we'd see more of these colors corresponding with more complex tissue structures, such as cell nuclei, different types of collagens, and muscle. The image behind me represents one of the unsung heroes in biomedical research, the control. When testing new stains or performing new studies, scientists often use a piece of tissue that they know will be strongly positive for the structures they're looking for. So for example, the gastrointestinal tract, more specifically the colon, has all these different five colors that will pop up when we stain it with this Movat's pentachrome. This controlled tissue that we know will be positive for all five colors that we stain for allows us to look back upon it so when we apply our engineered materials to the skin, if one of these structures is missing, we know that it's actually missing in the sample as opposed to missing due to a technical error or something wrong with our stain. This is a very, very tricky stain, but the great thing about it is that you can see all five of those structures at once. So you can see them and compare them to each other in the exact same frame when you take a picture. One of the most exciting things about this image behind me is that it's something that hardly ever happens in science. It worked the first time. <laughs> Um, oh, frickle frick. <laughs>